motor sensor device it here. It creates low frequency vibrations, sounds. That my stomach will feel more at ease. It's a wearable that I'm going to probably continue to use. If you're interested at all in heart rate variability, better quality sleep, overall nervous system resilience, improvement in heart rate variability, this device is probably something you wanna look at. What's going on YouTube? Last week we took a little break, one of our first breaks we've had in this whole channel, but this, we're actually talking about a cool device that I just learned about. It's called the Apollo Neuro. And I actually learned about this through a friend of mine here in Austin who started wearing this, who also wears an aura ring. And basically what he said was that his HRV scores had been increasing his sleep, his latency, his ability to fall asleep quicker. And I thought on this video it'd be valuable to look at this and see what a $300 device can do. And if it's really what it's all cracked up to be and what it really does. All right guys, so basically for the Apollo Neuro device, it's gonna ship in a box like this. The device really just comes with a USB charger, a standard USB connection here. It's it's basically this kind of like motor sensor device here. There's actually no biofeedback measurement that's made from the device itself. It just communicates with your iPhone or your Android device. And this thing you wear on the inside of your wrist, strapped around on the inside or on your ankle. And you can do either ankle, either wrist. And essentially what it does is in a nutshell, it creates low frequency vibrations, sounds, below the auditory range that you hear that stimulate and activate your parasympathetic nervous system and allow you to basically reset your nervous system. I'm a big fan of this. I think that our nervous system is something that we are constantly stressing a lot of times through our modern stresses at work, through our sleep regimen that gets kind of tossed around with all the social events and things that we do in our regular lives. And having a device like this can be a really powerful way to improve these sort of things. So as far as the mobile app goes, basically again, you're gonna wear this device on your wrist on the inside or on your ankle on the inside and the buttons would face outward. So if it's on your ankle, the buttons would face downward towards the ground. If it's on your wrist, the buttons would face this way towards your hand. Uh, you can also put it on the back of your hand and you know the positions are recommended, but you can play with it. It's not like it's specifically like you have to have to do this. Uh, what I've found and I, what I really enjoy is if I have a big meal, um, I'll put it on the inside of my wrist and I'll kind of like usually sit for like 30, 40 minutes, maybe watch a TV show, just kind of something light to kind of just recharge after dinner. And I'll rest this on my wrist, I'll have it strapped on my wrist and then I'll run the mode that I prefer. Usually it's in rebuild, recover or clear and focused or relax and unwind and I will have it vibrating not only on my wrist, but I'll have my wrist kind of pressed up against my stomach, resting on my stomach. So the vibrations will be like going into my diaphragm, my, my gut. And what I've found is that my stomach will feel more at ease on this process. So you can kind of see here, we've got energy and wake up in the setting, and then you can adjust the timing and the intensity. And what you'll find is that I usually just keep it at 100% and then keep the, the modes to the most maximum possible modes. And, and all the modes are gonna be geared towards eliminating or settling nerves, alleviating stress. So if there's issues you have with certain sort of situations that are more stressful than others, you can kind of you know pick the mode that you feel like might meet the criteria and then you can run it. And again, you can have this strapped to your ankle where it basically no one would even know that you're wearing something. And when it's running, it makes literally no sound. So like, for example, if I'm here, you'll hear a little bit if you put it against your ear, you can kind of hear and feel the vibrations. So you'll kind of pick that up very subtly. But generally speaking, if I'm just wearing this on my wrist, we'll do a quick sound test here and I'll show you, you're not gonna hear anything that's out of the norm. So let me just move this strap here a little bit and get it to a position. And now that it's here, it's connected, so I'll go to um, clear and focused, and I'll hit play, and now it's on. And again, you really can't hear much. The vibrations are very subtle, they feel very calming, and overall, 
I'm just, it's, it's, a, it's a unique device. I'm interested to see how my HRV improves over time. So let's jump into the website and take a look. So the apolloneuro.com website is here. I first, like I said, heard about this through my friend here in the Austin market, really smart guy, Tan. He, um, he's been a big kind of like optimization type biohacker personality. And um, he, when he first got the device, was actually using it to um, improve his HRV and test his aura ring scores. And they're doing a study now actually with people who have this device to see how it's affecting their aura. But you can see here, they talk a lot about on the homepage here, the science of how it uses these modes and how it affects your actual nervous system. It's been developed by a psychiatrist. So there's a psychiatrist and neuroscientist that have really worked behind the scenes on this and put this together. Dr. David Rabin and uh, Greg Siegel have really been the, found the founders of this technology and they've been working in a lab in Pittsburgh, University of Pittsburgh, and they've been working with people who have PTSD, um, trauma, things like that, that really kind of stick your nervous system and don't allow you to reset. For someone like me who tends to go out late on the weekends, who lives a pretty fast lifestyle with a lot of stuff going on during the week with work and then also lifting very heavy, my nervous system is kind of wrecked sometimes and I have absolutely noticed on days when I don't get as much sleep or post-workout days, I am sleeping much better. I'm not sleeping much better, but I am actually noticing that I'm falling asleep quicker. I think my sleep is improved and most importantly, I noticed that my heart rate variability is better in the sense that if your heart rate or your nervous system is really stressed, a lot of times you'll, you'll wake up the next day and if you get out of bed, you'll feel your chest pounding more. If you go up and down some stairs and you're still kind of sort of stressed out or not fully recovered, you might take longer to catch your breath to actually uh, feel your heart kind of resettle if you lay down in the bed, you might hear, feel your chest pounding a little bit. This device has made a difference and it's not insignificant. I'd probably say if on a scale of one to 10, I used to be at 10 like post lift day, waking up just feeling kind of like crushed. I probably have gone like three to four points down. Like I feel like maybe I'd wake up at like feeling like a five out of 10 and now I'm feeling more like a seven or eight out of 10 if all other things are left equal. And that to me is a huge, huge variable to consider. So I think there's something here. Uh, I've, I've looked into trauma quite a bit because I dealt with depression and anxiety for many, many months. And even for about a year and a half, I had a kind of on and off pretty bad anxiety disorder five, six years ago. And I really wish something like this had been around and existed because um, there is something outside of just the cognitive behavioral therapy process when it comes to trauma where touch, um, your environment, these kind of things play a big factor in your nervous system and how it functions. So the video talks a lot about what the science is, they've done studies, they've done some clinical trials on this device and actually seen improvements in stress from chronic stress. They've also done testing and measurements of heart rate variability and seen that improve as well. There's a really good podcast with Ben Greenfield interviewing the actual founder, Dr. David Rabin, and they talk a bit more about the process. Uh, skip to about an hour into that podcast because the first hour is kind of Ben and him just going back and forth about general things around trauma and stress. But once you get to about an hour, they talk more specifically about the device itself. Now, as far as the actual cost of the device, right now it's retailing at 350. We're gonna work with Apollo Neuro to see if we can get a discount code for you all. If you're interested in this device, again, I really don't want this to be about me plugging a device and telling you to buy this. But if you are someone who feels like they're kind of constantly a little locked up, a little bit less resilient, maybe a little on edge, maybe your nervous system is stressed. You've got a lot of sort of that kind of pressure on your nervous system and you're, you're doing a lot of physical activity as well as um, other things and your sleep isn't maybe the most optimal. This could be something to really look into to help you just kind of hack your system and help your body reset better. I've personally really seen a lot of good benefits from this now wearing this for almost a month and seeing my aura ring scores improve and seeing all the details. I wanted to do a controlled test. I haven't got there yet just because I've had way too many things going on that have made it pretty impossible for me to set a very fixed schedule at the moment with what's going on. But I can tell you from just how I feel, which is probably the most important thing 
when we talk about our optimization, how do you feel? How are you able to kind of like operate day to day? And how are you sort of motivated and, and, and just feeling as far as recovery goes? This device is pretty much the only wearable that I find that I would actually probably wear. So I know I'm going positive, positive, positive and really pushing this, but I just, I haven't seen things like this. There's other devices like the Muse uh, headband, which actually use some neurofeedback and I've tested those and they're okay. But this is something where you don't need to really do much. You can just turn it on, kind of forget about it. And I'm finding that I'm wearing it constantly and it's, it's really something that I'm enjoying and it's, it's improving how I'm feeling and, and functioning. There is an airplane mode on this. So they did de design this in mind for people who are concerned about EMF. You turn the airplane mode on, the, the, the Bluetooth is deactivated. You have to plug it in to reactivate that. So this is also a wearable where you do have the ability to shut off EMF and just run it on these programs. Some of the programs are two hours long. The social and open setting, for example, where it will run for two hours and they recommend you wear it two hours a day for 30 days when you first get it to kind of try it out and see how it goes. So as I mentioned, this device comes with this box when it ships. It took about four days for it to ship from the order, four business days. I'm in Texas, they're in Pittsburgh, and I uh, got it sooner than I thought I would actually. And it comes with just a charger and then the actual device itself. So this is the actual hardware. You come with, it comes with two bands, so you can slip this band off and in and out and kind of change this out if you want to. And the other band is bigger. So if you had a thicker leg or um, wrist or you wanted to just wrap it around your ankle and it was this one is just too short, you could use that. Now the device itself is really just this smooth kind of plastic surface. And then you've got two kind of buttons on the side and a light here that will, will flash blue and red. And then it will also show yellow and green depending on like its charging status and what the device is doing. It'll flash blue when you're communicating to it from your phone. It will flash red when it dies on the battery. It'll be yellow when it actually is charging. And then once it's fully charged, it'll be solid green. So I think as carnivores and people who are really kind of dialing in their ancestral optimization and alignment, we tend to be more sensitive to the different changes, whether it's our sleep schedule, our diet, our lifestyle. And because of that, we feel amazing, but at the same time, when we deviate, we feel kind of punished. And so I think with something like this and other things that I've introduced in my regimen, I'm more sensitive to those things, but it's a good thing. And this is one of those devices where there's been some improvement and I would say it's not insignificant. It's quite significant. And would it, would I say it's a total, total game changer? Is it going to completely fix your post-traumatic stress, remove all of your trauma? Probably not. But as we go through our days, our months, our weeks, our years, the things that move the needle and add that five, 10, 15% are going to add up having a cleaner diet, having a more consistent sleep schedule, making our sleep environments dark and cold, like adding these layers on top of layers and, and building blocks on top of our foundations is going to improve your resilience and your overall long-term health. And that's why I think, even though it's not a total, total game changer in the sense that you wear this thing and you're fixed in a, in a day, I have found that over time, I do feel really good and I've noticed that my HRV and my ability and my recovery is better. So I'm a fan. That's my overall initial experience with the Apollo Neuro. I think this is a device that I'll be wearing for quite some time. I'll probably report back to it in a future video. Uh, I'll work with their team to see if we can find some sort of discount opportunity to offer that to folks. Um, we'll also link in the description here a couple of podcasts if you want to hear more about where to jump into those. And again, trauma coming from a psychiatrist, a psychiatrist in a neuroscience lab and, and talking about this, the, the feelings of touch and, and really the way that they're uh, uh, sort of targeting the modalities that affect people. There's something here that I think is quite valuable. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, let me know if you've tried this device or if you have experience with other neurofeedback type devices or devices that help with HRV improvement. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below and I will see you on the next video.